The news is finally here. According to NBA insider Adrian Wojnarowski, quote, Los Angeles Lakers star LeBron James agreed on a two-year, $97.1 million contract extension, including employer option for the 2024-2025 season. At Clutch Point, CEO Rich Paul tells ESPN. As of right now, LeBron James is entering his final year of the contract worth around $44.5 million. Also a quick note here, because LeBron is 38 years old, the maximum length of the contract is 2 years. Also according to multiple sources, this new extension does not give LeBron any no trade clause. Now, as mentioned earlier, this contract has a player option, with this first year worth around $46.7 million and the second year worth around $50.4 million. There is also a 15% trading bonus included in this extension. In conclusion, with all of LeBron's contract, James' career earnings reached $532 million, surpassing Kevin Durant to become the highest paid player in NBA history. Now, all these news are great for LeBron James, the Lakers, and the Lakers fans, but once again, it puts Russell Westwood's career at a big turning point. In today's video, we'll be talking about why LeBron's new extension is sabotaging Russell Westwood's career. So with that being said, let's roll the intro. Yeah. Hi. Yo, what's up guys, Jason here back with another video. If it's the first time watching, I love basketball uncovering news and rumors in the NBA. If you find my content interesting, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as that is the best way to support me to bring us more exciting videos. Before we get into Russell Westbrook, let's first break down this contract extension a little bit more. As the salary cap keeps increasing, LeBron's new contract could be worth up to $111 million over the next two years. Now, according to labor terms, because James' salary increase in the second year of his contract extension exceeds 5%, he will not be able to get traded to the team next season. LeBron's contract currently expires after next season, and his new deal will last until the 2025 season. The Lakers have $20 million in cap next offseason and will be able to sign a third max player in 2024. Earlier, James and his agent Rich Paul met with Lakers GM Bob Palenka and the team's new coach Devin Ham. Majority of the meeting was devoted to expressing concerns and both parties listened to each other's perspectives and ideas to ensure that the team does not repeat last year's mistakes. GM Palenka also wanted LeBron to retire as a Laker and promised James to provide all the possible resources to win the championships. Furthermore, Palinka has also become a lot more active after LeBron's extension. According to Woj, the Lakers are still active, trying to improve their roster. Alright, let's now talk about Russell Westbrook. According to Woj, the Lakers have been willing to give up two first-round picks for Kyrie Irving, but if it is to trade for Miles Turner and Buddy Hilde, Lakers are not willing to send those two picks. Now, because LeBron signed the extension with the Lakers, Los Angeles is a lot more aggressive now in the trade market. The Lakers made it clear that if they can find more stable players than Russell Westbrook, they wanted to give up the 2027 and the 2029 first round picks as well. Now, those two first round picks are Lakers' last assets left and some of the only attractive ones. Meaning the Lakers put these two first round picks on the board in the trade market, it is a much more easier deal to pull off. However, a trade requires two parties. Just because the Lakers are willing to give up these assets doesn't guarantee that the other team will accept these. Obviously, Kyrie Irving is Lakers' current biggest target right now, but according to Mark Steen, the Nets want players that can contribute right away, and those two first round picks obviously won't do that. Truth be told, the Nets don't care as much about the first round picks, instead, they want players that can help them win right now. Because majority of the Nets own first round picks belong to Houston, with that James Harden's trade meaning, the Nets have no reason to just tank. Now, Brooklyn made it obvious that they don't view Russell Westbrook as somebody that could contribute right away. In other words, the Nets don't want Westbrook. If Brooklyn doesn't want those two first round picks, it's honestly quite difficult for the Lakers to get Kyrie. Plus, the Nets are in no rush to trade Kyrie Irving because KD's problem is still going on. If these two teams keep stacking on the trade table, Lakers are the one that will have to back down eventually, meaning LA needs to have a plan B. As mentioned earlier, Lakers GM Bob Palenka is really active. He wants to bring more shooters and quality frontcourt players, which will also elevate Anthony Davis 
as he'll be able to play more power forward. If you honestly ask me, I feel like Westbrook with two first round pick in exchange for Miles Turner and Buddy Hill is the winning situation. The Pacers have a lot of cap room to manage and plus, they are a rebuilding team. While the Lakers get their players to contribute right away, the Pacers get more first round picks. In about 5-7 to seven years, the Lakers will be rebuilding and at that time, these two first round picks will be extremely valuable for the Pacers. If the Lakers can pull this trade through, the combination of Buddy Hill, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Miles Turner will create another fourth in the West. But unfortunately for Russell Westbrook, his future is another question mark. After being the MVP and one of the best players in the league, it just feels like Westbrook's career went on a landslide after the Rockets trade. I am really interested to see how this will pan out for all parties. But now the question goes to you guys. What do you guys think the Lakers will do with Russell Westbrook? Let me know in the comment section down below. Alright guys, that's all we got for today's video. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and follow me on social media with all the links in the description box down below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.